We feel Simei is a very underrated neighbourhood. It's quiet, but it's got all the basic necessities and most importantly, it's accessible by public transport. My name is Ernest and I'm in the aviation industry. I'm Karen and I'm also in the aviation industry and this is our dog Scooter. We've been staying in this house for about four months. It's an executive masonette and it's about 1,600 square feet and it's uh, located in Simei. When we first came for viewing, it was quite old school. It was first generation HDB EM so I think the previous owners kept most of it intact and it was very country themed so there was a lot of wood cabinets and fixtures. We wanted to keep it clean and simple, not too much clutter around and we wanted to open up as much space as possible to give the concept of an open space. Living room to us was quite simple. We wanted something neat, clean looking and clutter free. So we decided to go with something different, the concrete console with curved ends. Also, we wanted a niche in the living room to kind of soften the whole look in the living room. Other than just a console, when we have friends around, it doubles up as a seating space for our guests as well. And it's something with a very clean look instead of a normal TV console. We both like to have a water feature at home, so we're looking at fountains and we didn't want a fish tank because a fish tank is difficult to maintain. Self-sustaining kind of pond concept with a water trickling sound, we felt what made the home more peaceful. As for the service yard, we did a very raw kind of look, cement screed all the way on the walls, mainly our wet and splash zone. So this is the washing area, this is our wet area. It's also Scooter's shower area. And uh, the ironic thing is that the tiles in this part of where his shower area is, is actually the most expensive tiles in the, of what we've selected in the entire house. One of the considerations we had for the breeze wall, it's uh, really because of feng shui. So we heard from our parents that uh, it might not be that good for the door to face directly to a window, hence we did a breeze wall. The other reason why we did the breeze block was because we normally keep the door open, so it serves as a privacy screen as well, while allowing ventilation at the same time. For the kitchen, we decided to go with boulder colour, so we did a split colour kitchen, meaning on sage green and terracotta colour, to just give it a pop of colours in the house. We also went with rounded fluted island because we thought the idea was interesting and it's uh, not as conventional as your regular squarish kind of islands. The idea of having fluted panels is quite interesting. So instead of a block squarish kind of island, we did fluted and all curved all around. In the kitchen, I think 90% of the carpentry, it's very deep storage space. Reason is because we don't like cluttering. So we prefer to keep all our appliances after use and to keep the kitchen really clean. Both rooms upstairs, we hacked half the walls and we created windows on one side and a fixed glass panel on the other side. It created that kind of shop house feel as you were walking up the stairs and the windows there. So we thought it was an interesting idea to have. So we opened up the area to let more light in and more ventilation in the area. Master bedroom, the only carpentry there is was the full height wardrobe that was essential for both of us. Other than that, furnitures for our loose furniture. For the storeroom, initially it was below the stairs, so we kind of shifted the storeroom upstairs to the second level. It was a space dedicated to one of the rooms, but we kind of made the wall out of it and then created a storeroom upstairs instead. Both toilets are using the same mix of towels. We decided to go with something a bit bolder upstairs compared to level 1 toilet, which is something more basic. Because we like dark wood and we like marble looking tiles as well, so we have a good mix of both in both toilets. We like the idea of a split level living. It gives us a bit more privacy. Times like this, only an EM and EA can give us the size we wanted when we were looking for a house.
Thanks for staying till the end. Now if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackthomes.com.